This recording is to demonstrate call routing by caller ID in Cisco Call Manager. I have a phone registered to the cluster. Extension 1000 will block calls with an unknown caller ID. Extension 1001 will pass all calls. I also have a phone registered to a PSTN simulator with a single PRI between the two. All calls from local call extension will pass as unknown, which will then be blocked. I'm using an H323 gateway, but this same method works for MGCP gateways as well as SEP trunks. The calling search, way, search space assigned to the gateway, Gateway CSS, contains a single partition that contains translations from DIDs into internal numbers. All call routing will be done through, ex through translation rules. Extinction 1001 will be passed with no modification except to strip the prefix of 864255, which is the DID prefix. Extension 1000 will pass the call through a call block gateway CSS, and we have selected to route next hop by calling party number. Again, we will strip the prefix of 864255. As the call is passed through the call block gateway CSS, it'll hit two options for translation patterns. The first option will look for any digit. If a digit is present, then the call is passed through without modification. The next pattern will look for any digit again, but if the call a digit is not present, as in an unknown caller ID, the call is transferred to an extension within a call handler within Unity Connection, which will play a prompt stating that the call is rejected based off of an unknown caller ID. First we'll dial from local call to extension 1001 to show this in action, to show the call as passing. Here we see no caller ID is listed on the actual phone and we also saw not available as the caller ID on the ISDN debug. Next we'll dial extension 1000. From here we see the same number is passed through as not available and an error is sent. The prompt from Unity Connection gives the user a reason why the call is being rejected. We'll send a call to 1000 with a valid caller ID in order to show that this is routing calls. Using this method of calling search spaces and translation rules, we can get as granular as we want blocking caller IDs based off of extension groups or system as a whole.